Damn it. Hey. What are you doing here? I, I thought you were supposed to meet there. I thought I'd walk with you instead. Oh, thanks. You don't even have to come. It's just a formality. Yeah, I guess. Well, are you all right? Uh, just a little overwhelmed. I mean, so far you've just sort of been maybe pregnant or probably pregnant. But it's like after today you'll really be pregnant. And it's like I feel I have some things I need to say to you, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna get going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not having second thoughts about everything. No. No, I'm not having second thoughts. I told you. I'm happy. I don't want anything to get in between us later on. Not with a baby in the picture. So I'd just rather get anything that might be an issue onto the open, right off the bat. It's better that way, right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I guess there are things I should probably tell you, too. Come on. I... I'm not sure where to start. Okay, well, I'll start then. I guess I should just... I don't know. Okay, here goes. I love kids. And I know that we didn't plan it this way, but I'm really happy that it happens. I never, ever thought about having kids. I'm sorry, I don't mean to scare you, but I've always wanted to have a big family. It's, it's probably because I never had a family of my own. And I know the world is overpopulated and I should probably be thinking about adoption. I haven't told you this yet, but uh, I'm actually adopted. I always hear these horror stories about these adopted kids who have all sorts of issues. So, I've got some issues. Not that I'm perfect. Abandonment issues, paranoia, and... I have my own issues. Every now and again, I, I wet the bed. Self-image, for one. It's not like I'm hosing down the mattress every night or anything. Okay, this is going to be embarrassing, but... It's psychological, so I can control it. It's not like a physical disfigurement or something. I have a full-blown unibrow. I pluck and I tweeze and I wax just to keep it under control, but... Another thing. In my graduation picture, I look like Frida Kahlo. You're gonna find out that in my hometown, they have a nickname for me. And kids used to make fun of me all the time. They used to call me Bert. They call me Pony Jacker. You know, from Sesame Street? Because I used to work on a horse farm. It was a really hard time in my life. Collecting... Pony semen. Which brings me to another thing. Not even my friends know about this. Not like, like collecting coins or something, but you know, like collecting, like pleasuring ponies for artificial insemination. None of my front teeth are real, they're all dentures. It wasn't glamorous, but I'm not ashamed of it. They had to be put in when a pony kicked me in the face when I was 13. And uh, I happen to love ponies. Stupid pony. Sounds weird, I know, but I do. I love them. And I hate ponies now. What else? Uh, Anyways, there's more. For, for some reason, the smell of vanilla makes me weak. I have a crippling fear of elevators. When I'm driving on the highway, I have this really powerful urge to turn into oncoming traffic. I tell people to vote all the time, and I couldn't even care less. The reason I wear my socks to bed is because I have webbed toes. And there was beef broth in that vegetable soup I made you last week. Uh, I'm not even a vegetarian. I just tell people that to be cool. And I don't really trust black people. I think I stabbed the guy in the throat in a bar fight once. And I shoplift all of the time. I don't even know if he's alive or dead. I, I just got the hell out of there. I don't even know why I do it. You know, I just get off on that thrill. Oh, and there's something, there's something I really need to get off my chest. And there's another thing I should probably tell you. It's about your friend Julie. It's about Julie. You know, I met both of you that same night at Daryl's party? No, we've been best friends forever. And we tell each other everything. Well, I took Julie home that night. We don't have any secrets. It was just that one time, and, and then I called you, but it's been like a weight on my shoulders ever since. And when we were in college, we went through a bit of a phase together. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you. Basically, we were like lovers for about six months. There's nothing between us, though. It was just that one time. I, but that doesn't mean I'm a lesbian. I mean, you know, I just... I just love the way she makes me feel. Except for that one other time, like two weeks later. And sometimes we still get together, you know, in that way. But, but that was it. It was completely over after that. 
hope you can understand. I hope you can forgive me. Emmett? Cora? Cora? Do you still love me? Of course I still love you. After all that and you're still here? I love you more than ever. I love you too. We're gonna make great parents. Now what, what did you, you want to tell me? me?